weekly market. Uh, it opened at 6 a.m., so it's looking like I'm going to get there around between 9 and 10. Not ideal, but I'm going to make it. So uh, I just keep thinking about that toboggan that I passed up yesterday. Any of you out there wondering why I passed on that? I'm just wondering myself. I don't know if you saw the price tag on it. It was $35, marked down to $20, and they were offering half off of that. So I could have had that toboggan for 10 bucks. I'm just not sure why I didn't buy it. My plan is to be selling at some point, probably in a week or so. So I could have toted it around for a week or so, sold it for 50 bucks. You know, I guess it just didn't have that little extra something. But it was old, it had some good wear to it. Uh, I should have bought it. I don't know why I didn't. Hopefully now that I've voiced it, I can stop thinking about it. Maybe I should have bought that instead of the, the scythe. I really need that. I saw a couple other ones. Just a quick road tip, gas up before you get into the state of Illinois. It seems to be anywhere from 20 to 50 cents higher than the states you're crossing in from. Also, I use uh, the app Gas Buddy. It shows you the, the, the fuel prices at the stations around you or the ones that are coming up. Um, so, just saved me about 29 cents. It's just past the exit that I took. Gas was at $3.27 a gallon, and I paid $2.98 just a couple miles before that. So get one of those gas apps. I'll put the link to Gas Buddy in the description below. Walking into the Wolf's Flea Market in Rosemont, Illinois. It's uh, about 10 o'clock and it started at 6 a.m. So I'm four and a half hours late. But we're here, that's the important thing. Let's take a look around, see if there's anything left. Ouch. Take a picture of it for my kid. Maybe he will okay. go. Yeah, that's what I was coming back to look at. I could I could do I could do thirty dollars on that picture. They put a lot in there, man. They put a lot in there.
Five dollar. much on the vest here? It's 30 bucks. 30. How much on the Jordan? That one's 70. 70? say that I'm seeing a whole lot of stuff that I'm interested in but there's got to be something out there How much do you have on the bookends? Oh, okay. on this one 50 how much are your pins Well, thanks for letting me look around. <laughs> um, I guess I'd do a dollar on the spoon. All right, I'll go with dollars. Okay. 
Um, yeah, if you do have one, I appreciate it. Different. Okay, yeah. Thank you. We had a nice time. Uh, shirts? Uh, t-shirts? The t-shirts? They're like 10, mostly 10 bucks, some Ten. five bucks. Okay. Strangest thing. Three pieces are $70 worth of paperwork. Communication equipment, is that? Yeah. Vietnam. Seventy, your best price on that? You know, I, I got forty-five into it. You know, I tell you what, if you want, I'll go sixty to get rid of it. It's heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. You know, I had a buddy of mine. He, he said the retail on it is probably about a hundred bucks. Yeah. You know, he says you, you know you don't just find you don't find them anymore. No, no, you don't. All right, it's not a bad price. Let me let me think about it. No idea what that Vietnam era equipment is, but looks like a hundred bucks to me. Looks like a 
pretty easy, 100 bucks, but. Like you said, it's heavy. Big and heavy. <laughs> How much are your lighters? One lighter. Two dollars. Thank you. Thank you very much. What, what is this thing? This one really, I don't even know what is it, Indian or Arabian. Hmm. A, they put something inside, let me see, it comes out of it, I don't ever try it. And it's put the smoke on it. Uh, Gotta be for smoke something. Maybe for incense? Yeah. No, you know, it's funny. Thank you. Okay, thank you, my friend. How much do you have on that? It's for a bus, I guess, huh? Yeah. Can you get inside there? Well, yeah. Without breaking the glass? Well, you got to take it apart. You start okay. from the bottom. You disassemble it. Okay. And uh, oh, I see. It would be a lot more if I were to service it and redo it. Yeah, yeah. It would be like sure. $350. Um, it's got the motor, I, I've done it, it's 12 volt, <coughs> and uh, oh, that's where okay. you drop the fare down, if we don't have power, and you see it totals up. And at the end of the line, they collect the booty. Uh, was this out of Chicago or? Yeah, this was in the Chicago area. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks for showing it to me. How much on the, the yeah the camera? Ten That's the treasure from the Wolf's Flea Market. 
lot of stuff here, a lot of vendors. Um, maybe I should have picked up a few of those things. I'm really thinking maybe I should have picked up the the Vietnam era equipment. For 60 bucks. That was a lot of stuff. Uh, it's really, like I said, it seems like an easy hundred dollars. 150, 200, I don't know. But it's so big and heavy. I decided to pass on it. Um, well, I'm gonna see if I can make it to the Maxwell, the Maxwell Street Market. I uh, don't even know what time it is. I'm pretty pissed at myself for leaving my phone in the car. I would have researched a few things. Wish I could have got here about five hours earlier than I did, but a couple of souvenirs. Both from Germany. German curling iron and a German that seems to be an egg scoop thingy. All right, better get over to Maxwell if I'm gonna make it. Oh, and the uh, little lighter with the fisherman on it. That was actually the best find. Uh, two bucks for that. Terrific patina on it. Um, should I have bought that Vietnam equipment? I'm talking about 50 pounds of stuff carrying around. I don't know. But yeah, lots of uh, lots and lots of tools there. Lots of new stuff. Quite a bit of uh, Pokemon magic anime type stuff as well. I hope I sh gave you a good idea of what's at the flea market, what to expect. Again, it starts at 6 a.m. Uh, the crowd was, uh, there was a really good turnout as far as customers. So, it seems like a good place to sell. I believe the website does have information about uh, booth spaces and rental spaces. So, find their website by by googling it the wolf's flea market rosemont illinois um, i'll put the link down below but looks like i'll hit the maxwell street flea market with just enough time to look around i think it ends at three what's going on i should be there by one o'clock so i'll have a couple hours maybe grab a bite to eat if nothing else <laughs> Street Market. The food looks good, but let's see what we can find first. If, if, if you're going to change it, right? 
Parking was a little trickier. Uh, I hope I'm parked in a proper area. Cost me seven something, 760 for an hour and 40 minutes. Just parked along the street. How about your unicycle? Oh, what do you got on that? 50 bucks? Okay. Well, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> Never know. much on your Schwinn bike. Uh -huh. 
100. Chicken. Chicken one? Anything else? What is this? Tanner for fun. Hello? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Can I open it for you or you got it? Oh, I've got it, thank you. treasures but who knows on the right day I'm also late to the party uh, I got here for the last hour and a half it closes at 3 p.m. pretty authentic way to spend a Sunday afternoon if you want to get off the beaten tourist path and maybe experience a part of Chicago that most people don't so I recommend it. The food was delicious and cheap. Parking was pretty simple. Polk and Jefferson is where I parked. Uh, it cost me $7.65, I think, for an hour and about 40 minutes. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not sure what parking, parking is like earlier in the day here, uh, but I didn't have trouble finding a parking spot on Jefferson, which is just a street up from the from the market. Fun is over for today. My next challenge is finding a place to park the Frontier and trailer and find some place where I can sleep comfortably and safely. I'll probably be making my way out of the city now, heading towards Indiana and hopefully I can find something out there maybe just a rest stop or a truck stop. I know Gary has truck stops. It's not the best. It's not an ideal place to spend the night. Um, so I may go past Gary and find something a little more rural. Uh, but we still have several more days before the 600 mile yard sale kicks off. I'm wondering how early people start setting up over there. So, I may just head that way. Maybe I'll end up down there tomorrow, which is Monday. Maybe I'll give it a day and show up Tuesday. But we'll see you soon. Thanks again for joining me. Don't forget, as I always forget, I'm supposed to say the like, subscribe. I think there's a bell. Ring that bell. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see what's, what's going on in the next state.